Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here continuing the series Where is your Divine Masculine at? And today we're doing the water signs So this is the reading for water signs So where is the Divine Masculine at with his energies at the moment? So we have the Sixth Chakra which is the Third Eye the first chakra, the base, adjacent possibilities, yin and yang, second chakra which is the sacral, the third chakra, the heart, caring connections, broken heart, deceit, envy, and blossom in abundance so straight away you can see there's a lot of healing work going on here with the chakras we've got we've got um, the base the second the third and the six so there's a lot of healing energy or a lot of healing here going on with this masculine so he's either receiving healing or he's doing some healing work himself on his chakra system which is all good Okay, that's all good. So we clarify these messages. So the sixth chakra with Archangel Metatron, <clears throat> that's the third eye. So let's clarify these messages. So with the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel by getting in touch with his intuition and his higher self, he's gaining that clarity that he needs in this situation with the Page of Swords. He's gaining clarity. And he may want to share that with you, his feminine. And then the first chakra is the base chakra. And we've got the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is air sign. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be your represent your person or this could be you. As you can see, the sword is to the side. Because sometimes in these Queen of Swords, she has the sword across her heart. So I do feel, and she looks very com contemplative. She's deep in thought. This is about your basic needs in life. Okay, so I feel that this is what's occurring at the moment. This focusing on the things in life, the stable things like home, family, security, work. Then we have adjacent possibilities and we have the Eight of Swords. So I do feel the person is choosing to not see the possibilities, not choosing to see... The choices that they could have in life um, they may have decided to be on a set path maybe in life and not look at the choices not look at the alternatives and they're choosing to remain stuck at this time in the eight of swords energy but at any time they could release themselves from this fear and this blockage then we have the yin and the yang we have the six of wands so that's victory card isn't it that's a victory celebration so they're coming into balance by working on their chakras they are coming into balance i feel within especially to do with the <clears throat> the masculine and feminine energies and on that yin and yang card it's the number 22 as well which is about partnerships so they're coming into balance and they want that victory in that situation so then we have the second chakra, which is the sacral, which is linked to your sensuality, your sexuality, your creativity in the world. And we have the tower. So this person maybe had become overcome with their feelings, maybe lustful feelings, um, sensual, sexual feelings in this connection and didn't realise the truth of, of what was more there was more to this connection than that, just that. So the tower has come in here, okay, to give this person clarity on this, to, you know, show this person that it's more than just a sensual sexual connection. There is more to this. Let's get another card on that, actually. King of Wands. So the King of Wands is passion. I mean, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe your person has fire in their chart. Or maybe this is just a representation of their passion that they were feeling in this connection. But they've come into their strength, but they still have that passion within. 
they still have a lot of passion within them for their feminine. And then we have the third chakra, which is the solar plexus, which is to do with self-esteem, self-worth issues. So we've got the Ace of Cups, so that's beautiful. So to me, this is about them gaining that self-love or working on that self-love, that love for self that we need to have before we go into a relationship with another person. So they're working on that self-love right now, so that's beautiful. And then we have care and connection and with the high priestess. So I do feel that your person sees you as the high priestess. He sees you as somebody quite spiritual, quite mystical maybe, somebody who has that inner knowing, who's in touch with their intuition. And he really admires that about you. And then we have the nine, which is the broken heart. We've got Ace of Wands. So this person was remaining stuck. We saw that with the Eight of Swords. Either you or he was having a broken heart in the situation or a broken heart from past situations. And I feel with the Eight of Wands, passion has helped heal the heart. There's, there's so much passion here in this connection, you know, so much passion. And... This is about movement forward as well. So there could be passionate movement forward very soon. And then we have deceit. So with the Nine of Pentacles here. So this could be about that they weren't being honest and open with you about their feelings, about their situation in life. Okay, maybe they had... Um, more resources and they let on and for some reason they didn't feel that they could open up about that with you with the nine of pentacles there's obviously financial independence here financial stability let's get another message page of pentacles yeah i feel there's an offer going to come forward here there's going to be an offer coming forward very soon in this connection and then we have envy and we have the moon so I feel things were hidden. This is very much, um, the moon is ruled by cancer, which is obviously a water sign. So some things were hidden. Um, this person may have had some envy towards you. Um, he saw you and your life as a certain way, but he wasn't seeing the truth of it because with the moon, we're not as clear, you know, it's not as clear as the daylight, is it? The, the moon, some things are hidden, okay? So thing, things were hidden from him with regard to this situation. Let's get another message. Three of Cups. So he wants to celebrate. He does want to celebrate. Or for some of you, this could indicate there was another person involved here in this situation. Let's get another message. So we've got the Seven of Wands. So someone is, there's a lot of passion here, as I said. There's a lot of passion. And there will be movement forward. And they've come to that realisation of what, what this connection is about. And then we've got Blossom in Abundance. And we have the Four of Wands, which is traditionally the Twin Flame card. This is about building that stability, that foundation, that commitment moving forward. And that's what they want, I feel. They want that commitment. They want that stability with you. And we've got Blossom in abundance. Because having that will bring in more abundance. You will share this abundance together. This will be a beautiful, abundant commitment. And it will bring in more abundance. So that's beautiful. So let's get some other messages for you. <laughs> we've got abundance again. So it's double confirmation. You know, this connection will bring much abundance. We've got bittersweet. So sometimes with the sweet is the bitter, isn't it? You know, life is full of ups and downs. Nothing's perfect. It doesn't mean to say it's all going to be smooth, plain sailing. And there's been wisdom gained here. And I, I feel that's in both sides. You know, you're both gaining wisdom at this time. And there's going to be a discovery. I feel your person, we saw the Ace of Cups... He's discovered that self-love. You can see a figure there with their heart is open here. They've discovered that self-love. They've connected to spirit. And we've got the moon here in this image. 
and on next week the 17th we have a full moon so it could be just a discovery that happens around that time and we've got enlightenment again and we have the sun in this card so we have the sun and the moon so it's beautiful there's beautiful enlightenment coming in okay impartiality so you know this could be about not non-judgmental being impartial to an outcome possibly and just having that like go with the flow energy really that's what i'm feeling go with the flow it looks a bit like the temperance image doesn't it having that patience to wait for the divine timing for the right time for something to happen we've got despondence here so you know it's hard sometimes to wait for things to move forward and there could have been a lack of hope at some point this feeling of despondence but i feel that's in the past because Faith has been restored. There's faith coming in. You're both going to have faith in this connection and, and this situation moving forward. Because it's divinely guided, there's like an angel figure there and a beautiful crystal there. And perception, you know, how we see things is important, isn't it? And sometimes we don't always see things clearly. But there's going to be increased perception now because your person is in touch with their inner knowing their spiritual self and there's a beautiful butterfly here so they're gaining that knowledge i feel and there's new growth coming in there's going to be new growth in this connection i feel new beginnings new growth so that's beautiful he sees you as the high priestess i feel as i said we had that i think we had that come up before so he does see you very much in your power you're someone mysterious and mystical to him, somebody that can manifest the life they desire. And we've got the star. You are a wish fulfillment for this person. You are what he wants, the, uh, the ultimate feminine in his life. And we have strength. He's, he's um, been working on his inner strength. He sees you as a very strong person, I feel, but he's been working on his strength because he wants to match his feminine in that. Yeah, again, the Empress, you know, he has you in very high regard. You know, the High Priestess, the Empress, he sees you as somebody that would make a good wife, a good mother, you know, somebody that is the ultimate feminine for him. We have the Tower moment, so, you know, this comes in sometimes to shake up our world, and I feel that's what was needed in this connection. And we've got Temperance, and we, I, I saw that in another card. This is balancing, isn't it? I feel it's like balancing those emotions and balancing between heart and mind. And the sun, so that's beautiful. You know, this is happiness, joy, you know, happy ever after, good things coming in. A new start is coming, new moon. So there's a definite new start coming in for you. Show the world the real you. So I think it's a case of being authentic. You both being your authentic selves for each other, showing each other who you really are. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So we've got the full moon, as I said, next week. So there could be some answers or some clarification coming to you. And bring love into the situation. You know, if if there is love in your hearts, you know, share that love. You know, treat each other with love. That's beautiful. Maybe in the past this was like a back and forth situation, somebody that was in and out of your life, or they couldn't, they were undecided about which way they wanted to go forward. Maybe somebody was playing it safe in this connection, they didn't, they weren't opening up, they were closed off at that time. But they made a discovery, okay, and they they found that love within themselves, and that will enable them to love more their person in the world and this is a kindred partnership this is a soul connection here and there's a beautiful rainbow if you can see that over that little island so it's beautiful you know beautiful positive vibes and they want a family with you i feel they want to have children with you we saw that earlier as he sees you as the empress they want to have children with you and they want to honor the path you know they want to do the soul mission with you to honour their path, their spiritual path 
with the feminine, I feel. I feel in the past, this is friends and colleagues were distracting them, were interfering in the relationship, maybe the connection. Not deliberately, but they were a distraction. And there's a definite new beginning here, and we've got another baby, so there's a definite possibility of a baby coming in soon, or a child, children coming in to this beautiful connection, and beautiful lavender. So, beautiful image there. And yeah, sometimes we have to let go, let go of control issues for things to change, and I feel that's what's happened in this connection here. And this is a true love connection. And I think both people are realising that now. So that's beautiful. And it's also about true love for self. Because she's looking in the mirror herself. And having that love for self is very important. The Oracle's gift. So yeah, I do feel that your person has become more enlightened. They've been opening up to their gifts. And they're getting more in touch with their intuition at this time. And they're seeing that there are endless possibilities. They're connecting with the universe, with their guides, their angels. And they're seeing the endless possibilities available. We had that earlier, didn't we? Adjacent possibilities. They were closed off before, but they've opened up more now to what possibilities there are. And wish upon a star. I feel, you know, you wished upon a star and your dreams are going to come true. Let's get a final message. So we have great and full, and I feel this is a cup of love to me. This is a cup of love, and it's it's overflowing with love in this connection that you both share. So that's beautiful. So there are your messages for water sign divine masculines. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings. Take care.